view on a car. <laughs> Dropping! Yeah! <laughs> right, this is a mountain biker's view on a car, and this is the ultimate dad wagon, the RSQ8, 600 horsepower, so much room in the back for obviously baby seat, and all my bikes, and actually is the king of SUVs. And SUVs aren't typically very cool, but this has a record around the uh, Nürburgring, and if I can work out what to do now, look at this launch control and what do car dudes like most in the world? Launch control and tunnels. <laughs> so this is a launch in a tunnel. Insane. The heat come off it is insane. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Almost the gap between the tire and the floor there. Look. <laughs> it has wheelies as well. Look at that. There's, sick there's that. almost a gap between the tires and the floor. Imagine if we got it to do a wheelie. No, no. Look. Backwards and quickly into a sport mode and into RS1 mode. <laughs> I think the gearbox has got like three of those. So there's like normal setting, like like then like when you take off, it look out like like rears up. Just yeah, I've had I've had it for five days now and I've just sort of driven around at 10 miles an hour, cruising around, like revving it every now and again. And it is so sick. Look at the size of those brakes, by the way. They're actually the biggest brakes that are on any production car in the world. I think 23 point something inches. They're like, there's cars with actually smaller wheels than those brakes. I mean, they're not TRPs, but um, <laughs> they're pretty good still. 10 pot. 10 pot. 10 pot. <laughs> and they're 23 inch wheels. No, yeah, 23 inch wheels. And the disc is not 23, it's something else. Ready? Uh, oh, I don't know. So what are you going to show us now, Brian? Hey, what else do uh, car vloggers like to see? They love the engine. Right, let's see it. Oh, got it first time. Oh my God, can you feel the heat coming off? I feel like I can get a tan. <laughs> well, it's a bit plasticky actually, but I was expecting you know, one of those big like Mustangs where you can see all the chrome and stuff on it. But... Looks good. <laughs> but that looks very oh V8 twin turbo 600 horsepower not 60 and apparently 3.8 but it does it in 3.6 so with bikes people and a baby in it as well <laughs> been watching a lot of reviews on this yeah so what proper people think of it <laughs> and that actually goes down pretty well you know what, people do not like that a fake vent. Yeah. They don't like that. Oh, for God's sake. Speaking of which, you want to see how big the boot is? Please do, Yes, you do. I know some facts, and this is 570 litres. Already a bit dirty. But, look at that. Then these go down. Like that. That one. Like that. And all your downhill bikes, all your crap in there, and obviously the baby seat in there as well, which <laughs> is, uh, uh, yeah, that's it. I think there's a piece of two bike box, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, to the little baby seat. Yeah, we've got a baby seat. Raz it straight to Chatel, hopefully. All your bikes, all your rubbish in there. Oh, it's, it's quite daddy to have a roof box, isn't it, actually? Yeah, it's very daddy to have yeah, a roof box. But I'm not going to get one of them. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, look how pimp that is. And obviously, oh, actually, another cool thing here. Yeah. Soft shut. Did you see that? See that? Show, show us again. How 
little pimp do you need <laughs> for this car? Getting Alicantar steering wheel is just so pimp. I'm just want one. <laughs> I need to start winning some World Cups or winning Rampage or something like that. And he thinks all spinners allow is called in vibrant, vibrant. Mode. Yeah, is it vibrant or the progressive? Vibrant. We'll see what it's called in a minute. And it's sick touch screen. Actually, no, it's the, the screen in there is like touch push screen, so I've got a little tap to it. It's so good. Because if it's just touch, it's a bit horrible. But this, and you can like press it and it makes a little tapping noise and it's haptic. What? Haptic touch. There you go. That is pimp. Pimp. <laughs> ultimate dad this wagon. Is the ultimate mountain biker dad wag. I, I just want it so bad. Look how pimp it is there. I mean, just look at that wheel. Every car that I have now has to have an Alicantar steering wheel, otherwise, I'm not buying it. Ever. Right, we're on the inside now of this absolute beast. Um, I mean, look at that steering wheel. I think I might actually make Alicantar death grips. They are, I love that so much. It just like feels quality as you like. But I think if I was going to spend a hundred plus grand, I would want something like a like metal paddles or something. They just feel a bit plastic. And when you press the RS button, which I press a lot of the time, it's just a bit like plasticky in a bit, I don't know, but carbon fibre everywhere, I'm not sure what the Alicantar is going to be like when I've got chocolatey fingers on, actually look, Benny was about to go off road so, look at this, all road, and it lifts the car up like that, so you do 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds on the road, and then you can go off road. This is just, it is actually just the dream mountain bike car. Like, chuck all your shit in, go anywhere you want, and like pretty much be, let's say, should we say 90% of other cars on the road? Yeah. I'd say easy. Easily 90%. Oh, up the bank. Oh. Easy. My car needs to fit, fit shit in the back. That's why my dream car is an RS6, Audi RS6. But now this one's pretty close, dude. I want it to sound so bad, boy. Like a bit like a V8 and just this like gargly and like back back pops and all sorts. Two uh, two other criteria, fast as hell. And I do actually. I used to have uh, the Audi RS4, like the old B7 edition with manual, and we'll turn that off with manual and I used to love manual driving that but now I'm on paddles I just I think it's so much more efficient and like new age and it just paddles are just sick they're just sick you just feel like you're a Formula 1 driver as well so this has obviously got the RS button there which you can he head up and it sends oh, G meter oh there's the G meter not doing very well but look you can see you can like tune how you have all your uh, all your settings so drive system balance suspension balance kind of like if you have it in dynamic it's real rough ride steering dynamic obviously ah oh, the engine sound pronounced that is important on it all esc mode is like on sport as well so it gives you i think that gives you in dynamic and that it can put up to 85 percent of the power to the rear wheel so it's like a little bit nudgy and moves around a bit which 
from an Audi Quattro, they're quite renowned for being a bit understeery. Gives you a little bit of movement, a little bit of uh, playfulness, which is pretty rad. Cheers, Audi, for letting me borrow it for 10 days. And uh, if you want a proper car review on this car, head over to Joe Achilles' channel. He kills it with, uh, with car reviews. I've butchered it, but it's fun. Cheers, guys. Next time. Actually, next time we might have RS4 or an RS6 for our, our mountain bikers review on cars. We call it Dumb Mountain Biker Review on Cars. Bye. <laughs> Peace. Think it is made in Germany? Gotta be made in Germany. It's too sick not to be.